thinking of visiting La Paz in Bolivia? Well, this capital city isn't short of amazing activities for thrill seekers. And here are the top seven things to do when you get here. Please be sure to stay until the end of this video because number one on our list will give you an amazing adventure that will be the highlight of your trip. Number seven, enjoy views from cable cars. Some of the best views of La Paz are usually when you're high in the skies and enjoying a thrilling ride. So why not head over to the Mi Teleferico cable car and get an awesome view from the top of the city. This cable car system includes 25 stations, which are also great for moving around the city without worrying about getting stuck in traffic. So if you would like to move between La Paz and El Alto without taking the difficult roads, the cable car is a handy choice. Of course, with its reasonable rates, you won't be spending way above your budget either. So it's time to enjoy some great sightseeing in La Paz using the Mi Teleferico. Number six, visit museums at Calle Jaén. Calle Jaén is a street in La Paz that we consider the most colonial. And that's only one of the reasons you should consider taking a walk along its cobblestone streets. These ancient streets preserve a lot of history, especially as La Paz was established when the Spanish conquered the South American continent. Calle Jaén hosts lots of colorful houses and restaurants that date back several years. Plus, it's a great place to stop for unforgettable pictures while grabbing a bite or two of your favorite meal as you watch the locals live their lives. You can also round off your sightseeing with a visit to some famous museums on this street. Of course, you may not have much time to explore all five museums located here, but you'll definitely be entertained all day even if you visit only one. Number five, explore the Tiawanaku ruins. Close to the famous Lake Titicaca is a pre-Columbian area that experts claim is more than 10,000 years old. Known as Tiawanaku, a few hours on this archaeological site will give you a lot of insight into one of the oldest civilizations ever in South America. Moreover, it takes just a two-hour drive from La Paz to arrive at this UNESCO World Heritage Site, which makes it an amazing choice for your day trip. And if you have a lot of extra time, you can quickly stop at the popular lake in this area. The ruins of Tiawanaku are known to fascinate every visitor, and we don't think you'll be any different. Although only a few original artifacts are still 100% intact here, the Bolivian government did a great job of recreating some of the major highlights on this archaeological site. This is such that you won't feel like anything is missing. Dig around the archaeological ruins of Tiawanaku and you may be lucky enough to discover a major scientific breakthrough. It's not impossible. Number 4. Cast a spell at the Witch's Market Surely you can cast a spell on your arch enemy at the Witch's Market in La Paz. But here's a disclaimer, your spell might not work. Still, it's fun to check out this market with colorful displays of shops and tents, which remains one of the top attractions in the city. The market is right at the center of La Paz and, interestingly, just a block from the popular San Francisco Church. It's also the best place to get some effective herbal remedies to treat altitude sickness, and you'll need this if you plan on hiking the high altitudes of La Paz. Of course, there are also lots of other remedies to check out at the witch's market, as the Yatiri, or local witch doctors, have everything you could ever think of, from llama fetuses for good fortune, to dried frogs used to prepare various concoctions. So you must keep an open mind and be friendly as you window shop in the market, even if you don't eventually buy anything. By the way, click the link in the description if you want to learn how to save money on airfares. This guide will teach you how to always get the cheapest air tickets. Number 3. Go Mountain Biking on Death Road One look at the name of this road, and you may be tempted to think all kinds of bad things happen here. Well, that's not so far from the truth, since this Yungus Road is actually one of the most dangerous roads in the world. But then, the good news is that this 69-kilometer highway that connects La Paz to Cororico is no longer as dangerous as it was several years ago. Also, the road has been paved at specific locations, which takes you through almost thousands of kilometers of mountains and even passes through the rainforest. This means that mountain biking on this road won't have you struggling with many discouraging bumps. So it's always a great idea to engage in this activity alongside other adventure seekers, especially with experienced riders in the group. You should know it's safer to mountain bike on this road during warmer weather, and you'll be one of the few people bold enough to enjoy the adrenaline rush from this journey if you go for the ride. Number 2. Explore El Alto El Alto is the second largest city in Bolivia and mostly home to the Aymara people. For sure, there's no shortage of activity in this huge commercial city, especially as it's right next to La Paz. The best way to explore the city is from the skies as this will give you unfiltered views of the interesting layout. 
you can start your day on the cable cars to the city of El Alto, where you'll be able to admire La Paz. It's also a great idea to check out the Andean architecture here, especially those from an Aymara architect known as Freddy Mamani. Who knows, you may be lucky enough to get an exclusive tour of the interior layout. Do check out the huge El Alto outdoor market, as well as the Cholitas Wrestling. Cholita Wrestling is a theatrical display of fighting skills by flamboyantly costumed women, and it is a very popular event in Bolivia. Of course, your day isn't complete without a panoramic view of El Alto on a cable car as you get amazing views of the snow-capped mountains of the Cordillera Real. El Alto is a beautiful city with tons of surprises, so feel free to explore as much as possible. Number 1. Spend a day at Lake Titicaca You can't fully explore the famous Lake Titicaca on a day trip, but at least you'll feel the serene atmosphere and get a unique experience as you walk around the lake. For starters, this amazing lake is known as the largest in the world to exist at such high elevations. It's also the largest in South America and can be explored from either the Peruvian or Bolivian side. However, you can start your adventure from the Bolivian side in Copacabana. Apart from the rich history of the lake itself, it also plays host to two major islands that are major tourist attractions in the region, including the Isla del Sol, which is at the epicenter of the ancient Incan civilization, and the Uru Islands, which are man-made. Isla del Sol is known in English as the Island of the Sun and has tons of ancient ruins. However, the Uru Islands were created by the Uros people who fled from the Amazon and settled on the floating islands around the lake. There's no doubt that seeing these islands will add to your awesome experience. Click here for more tips while traveling in Bolivia.